Okay guys, here we go. Another Chevy bit the dust. But it's not really Chevy's fault. Got a uh, little uh, 1.8 liter engine in this uh, 2015 Sonic. I apologize for the low light. It's still early in the morning here. Nice sunset, or sunrise over there though. But that's not the sun actually, that's a street light. It does look like the sun though. Anyways, so we got a, uh, we got this uh, 2015 Chevrolet Sonic here, 20,000 miles on it. We got a bit of a problem. So we take a look at the dipstick here. And it is, the oil level is all the way up here on the dipstick. So the crankcase is way overfilled. So uh, I took a whiff of the oil. It smelled like diesel fuel. So I went a step further, took a fuel sample. This thing's got diesel in it. And that explained the no start. So it got plugs. Uh, got gasoline put back in the tank. However, the only problem was uh, once we uh, started the thing up to try to run it and clean the engine up, it uh, did not sound too pretty. That is not very pretty. And there we go, locked up. So, this customer will be buying a motor. So there you go. That engine's toast. She won't be going anywhere anytime soon. So that's why you don't put diesel in your gas cruises, folks. Cruises, Sonics, whatever you got there, you get a nasty engine failure. So basically what had happened is the diesel fuel that wasn't burning properly was getting washed past the cylinder walls and diluted the engine oil and basically ruined the entire engine due to lack of lubrication. Now it needs an engine. That's an expensive mistake. Don't ever drive a vehicle if you put the wrong fuel in it.